Hey guys, uh, my name's Craig Kleski. Um, yeah, let me start again. Who is Craig Kaleski? I'm just a photographer from Cape Town. I love what I do. I shoot adventure sports and I love to be outdoors every day. I don't think I'd be able to sit in the office. I grew up as a surfer skateboarder, so extreme sports has always been my thing and just by chance through the surfing industry and growing up bodyboarding and skateboarding, I ended up taking photos. Uh, my brother actually went to the Red Bull organizers and said, um, you guys need another photographer, you must let my brother shoot. And they let me shoot that day and I had a whole bunch of photos published from the weekend's racing and that was my big break with Red Bull, I think. I don't, a lot of my friends think I just like don't work. They think I live this like rock star kind of life and just don't really do much but when they do actually see me working and the hours I put in and what I do shooting and after shooting they actually realize that what I do or what a photographer does in general is actually a lot of a lot of work. The perks of my job is that I get to travel the world. My favorite destination I'd have to say would be Madagascar and Morocco those two just um just the terrain is unbelievable and the people were amazing. The non-glamorous side of photography is the editing and the touching up and the downloading and sorting out files and going through terabytes of hard drives. I hate it. Anybody want a job? On a lot of my shoots we always, especially with extreme sports, there's going to be accidents and if it's not me getting hurt, it's sometimes the athletes. We've had broken legs, broken arms, shin sticking out of legs. Um, one of my Red Bull shoots I was on, I had a break dance to do a somersault and kicked my camera right out of my hand that it flew over stage and smashed into a thousand pieces and I mean yeah with extreme sports comes all the, the accidents and it's just something we've learned to deal with and we're always prepared for the worst. The way I market myself is in the industry, I'm just very active on social media, on Twitter and Facebook and I'm always looking out for things and letting people know what I do. As a photographer, if the clientele out there don't know what you do, you're not gonna sell photos. They need to know what you can do and what you're capable of doing. So I find it important that I let people know what I'm doing and where I am. My gear of choice, I've got a lot of gear. Each camera I have serves a specific need on what I shoot. I'll shoot with a Nikon D4 when I'm shooting surfing and fast moving things just for the frame rates to get good, good sequences. If I need higher res photos for bigger pictures, I'd use the, the D800 for billboard size photos and um, just more detail. And then if I'm out on the trail running around after runners, I use a D7000, it's a smaller camera. It's not a full frame, but with a 16 more fish eye on there and my pocket wizards and my flashes, my speed lights, I can capture any angle I want with those, those cameras. The reason why I shoot on Nikon is that they're great cameras. They they go through whatever I go through, they've never let me down and when there is a problem with it, the, the NPS, the Nikon Professional Services are there to back you up as a professional photographer with no questions asked and I take my cameras in there after every dirty shoot I do and they just shake their heads, take the cameras, sort them out and give them back to me with a smile on their face and Nikon as a brand, to me, they're like a family. From their help, my photography has gotten better and they're just there to help photographers and are there 100% to support anyone who uses Nikon. What talent I would really like to have? Uh, I think I'd just like to be maybe a bit more fit than what I am. I mean, I used to be really unfit and sh shooting all the stuff I have been, has made me realize there are really talented athletes out there and I just wish I was a little bit more talented on the athletic side so I could keep up with all the guys that I'm shooting. My superhero name, um, a lot of friends call me Super C. It's been around for a good couple of years and um, whenever I go places, people just call me Super C. So I just stick to that Super C, it's pretty cool.